Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design this banner in the Gravi Designer. So let's start our tutorial by creating a new document. Alt N or Option N on your Mac and I'm going to size this with 1440 by 900 pixels. Website large. And first of all, let's create a hexagon by grabbing the polygon tool. Head over to polygon tool, hold shift and alt to create a perfect uh, uh, hexagon and position it to one, uh, with the one side on the bottom. And now let's change the color to black and add the border radius to, to around 36 pixels. So far so good, let's uh, make a duplicate with Ctrl Shift D, Command Shift T and I'm gonna size down this duplicate to around uh, 25-30 pixels from each side and uh, delete the fill of the border and for this border increase the border weight to around 7 pixels and for this border I'm gonna head over to the angular gradient and add the angular gradient here 4 points in my angular gradient and on the position of, of 0% I have FF1616 at the position of around 30 degree uh, percent, I have 8746 uh, FF. At the position of around 70 uh, percent, I have 3387BO. And at the position of around 100 percent, I have FF1313 to uh, ensure that I have a, a smooth transition in this point. It's uh, this point is very important and uh, if you want to learn more about angular gradients uh, check my tutorial how to create logo with nothing more than angular gradient here i also want to increase the border weight to round nine now and um, uh, come back to my shape on rear this black um, hexagon and add the drop shadow uh, with the blur of 60 pixels so apply the 60 pixels blue now let's grab the text tool and type spring here um other set a fill color to white and uh, make sure that you scale font on resizing and resize your font to match up your shape here let's uh, go to the uh, typeface and set a typeface to Sophia and let's duplicate our design. I'm gonna change it to sale of all capitals. Then go and align it to the middle and uh, uh, go to the font that called Rubik. Rubik Mono One, this kind of. Now let's adjust also sizing of this font as well. So they, uh, so they occupy around the same width here. And last but not least, let's add final element. Uh, it's a rectangle. Create a rectangle on the bottom. And uh, for this rectangle, head over to the fill color and add this green color. 3B, DF, uh, B3. Uh, set the corner radius to 36 again 36 pixels and um, make a duplicate of this rectangle ctrl shift d command shift d then select the shape on rear original file and uh, add the blur and place this blur to around 15 pixels right now so it kind of emanates the light uh, let's go to the uh, type tool and uh, type learn more here uh, and uh, leave it to Rubik. Where is my type? Oh, uh, there is it. And match the size. Let me uh, auto scale it. And match the size with the size of your um, button. Uh, now it looks decent, and let's align everything to the middle. I think uh, we have some spacing problems and we uh, we need to arrange and allocate some elements uh, better. But I will continue my tutorial and to create a background uh, this time. I'm gonna fill up all the canvas and uh, then reposition this rectangle with the Ctrl Shift 
down arrow or comma shift down arrow to position it to the bottom of your last stock and then go to the uh, fill color and apply the liner gradient uh, well we can um, I can use this swatch but basically what I want uh, for this uh, gradient I want to change the direction from top to bottom and then on bottom I'm gonna uh, use a um, very hot color and uh, for the bottom I want to use a um, very cold color and uh, extend it beyond the bottom side of my canvas so something like that you know and um, probably we need to increase just a bit the size of our uh, hexagon uh, group it and uh, select everything all together click on this new layer icon uh, next to the trash icon on the last panel and uh, position everything here call it burner uh, and we are approaching to the second part of our tutorial that called flower because we're gonna create a flower here in Gravity Designer. So uh, let me show you how to design a flower here in Gravity Designer. It should be a very simple thing to do. I should say we need to grab an ellipse and create an ellipse uh, with a uh, this size width uh, at around 300 pixels and height at around 550 pixels. Let's go to the radial gradient, the third icon on the fill panel, and apply this gradient. Uh, so I have this very saturated uh, red color on F9, 3232 on the middle and on the sides. I have this less saturated color FFC8C8 here. Now let's make a duplicate with Ctrl Shift D. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I need to create a duplicate with Ctrl D. But before I create a duplicate with Ctrl D, click on this transform button here. And now let's create a duplicate with Ctrl D. This is a shifted duplicate on the bottom and on the right. And I need to grab this button, holding shift key, I need to position it to the bottom of my battle and then benefit from the smart transform. And holding shift key, we need to rotate it at around 75%. So you need to count to 5. Here, I think it's 90% and 75 is here. So exactly negative 75 you see it here now ctrl d command d to repeat this operation over and let's create a duplicate of our first petal this on top ctrl shift d command shift d and now let's position it to the top of our last stack with ctrl shift up arrow or command shift up arrow on your mark and let's subtract uh, this duplicate from this shape on top left so let's make a subtract here subtract now it's uh looks decent and i want to first of all group every petal here duplicate the group actually with ctrl shift d command shift d size it down and i want to rotate it uh, to fill up this hole so rotate it uh, at the angle of 30 degrees now i want to align it better Okay, it's kind of shifted. Well, it doesn't matter uh, actually for this simplistic design. It would work. I'm sure it would work. Now I need to create a circle, perfect circle. So hold shift and alt uh, in the middle of your composition. And we need to again apply the radial gradient. And this time I need to apply the same gradient, but I will um, rope. Uh, saturation from my center something like that uh, so far so good we need to again uh, control g command g everything to group everything and uh, i need to grab the rectangle a triangle tool and create um, a triangle on top of it control shift p command shift p to create a path from this shape 
Notice that it's uh, a path now. You can also go to the modify path, convert to path. Uh, for now, we need to grab the subselect tool and delete these two um, nasty buttons. I think it's unnecessary. And change the joint, select this joint on top and change it to mirror it. You see it here. Now we can grab the direction handles and, well, uh, we need to narrow them a bit and uh, reposition it to the bottom of our flower and uh, head over to the radial gradient again add the second swatch in my case this swatch is a again radial gradient with a dark green in the middle 185150 and light green in this on the side and it notice it's uh, also extends beyond my shape uh three b d f b three now let's grab the pen tool or path tool in gray designer and create this kind of a path here i need to arrange this path well actually we can add um, a line of gradient or we can add the same global swatch here, so it's kind of a light, uh, but instead of fill, of course, apply it to border. Apply this uh, to the border, and then uh, increase the border weight to around 10, and set it to luminosity. Let me position it right on top. Of this area and now we need to uh, play with the color of this uh, line okay I decrease the size adjust it to match the uh, my uh, uh, leaf and create two more lines before uh, adding this line let's create a shared style call it let's say a leaf so we don't need to add this luminosity, 10 pixels border, all and over. Yes, so we can uh, benefit from the shared styles. And you see that Gravity Designer creates it uh, for me automatically. And for this, let's go to shared style, leaf, apply the leaf. And um, we can also create another duplicate of this leaf, select everything um, every single line here and uh, well go to the ma mask with shift ctrl shift m or command shift m match uh, our lines to the um, uh, ba -bam. <coughs> match our lines to fit the whole shape uh, something like that and uh, then select everything ctrl g uh, leave the one group uh, add another layer group call it flower uh, and position it here on the inside this group um, last step is to select everything select this group uh, and make a duplicate select the group on rear here and uh, head over to the union and unite everything now we have a simple a single compound shape you can control convert it to pass Control shift p command shift p on your mark and uh, within this path let's change a color to let's say this dark red here and um, keep it selected and head over to the blur and blur it a bit so you can see now it's casting kind of a shadow and i need to reposition the shadow uh, to the bottom and pay attention to the blur as well so you can increase the radius uh, to control the opacity let me control the opacity uh, to soften it a bit so first good let's uh, select everything group it and uh, relocate uh, to our main artwork now so I need to position it here Position it here, position it here, and size down some of the elements here. 
So this is how you can create this print banner here in Gravity Designer. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give us some up, subscribe to my channel and share the tutorial with your friends. Don't forget guys to select these borders and uh, go to the advanced border section uh, and uh, select this auto scale border and sync this with your uh, graphic style. This is how you can remedy this mistake with the very thick six borders. So guys, this is how you can create this banner. I hope you enjoyed and as always guys, enjoy the day. Keep watching tutorials, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends.